excited because we're doing one of the last decor projects in my apartment. Really, it's not the last decor project at all. But we're nearing the end and we are decorating a bar cart, which I have been thinking about how to make a bar cart look good in my apartment for so long now. I think that they can easily look really tacky, but I just wanna make it look a little classier, a little, a lot more expensive than it actually cost me because I'm, I tried to stay on a budget, even though for a hot second, I almost bought a $599 bar cart, but I ended up going with a $97 one. So this is just the last, or one of the last products before we buy the flip home, which I'm so excited about. We're gonna decorate that entire thing, get that going. But for this video, we're focusing on the bar cart. I'm gonna show you how to make that bar cart look expensive. We have the most insane printables that Sarah drew for the bar cart. You're gonna die when you see them. They're free on the website. They're just beautiful. So let's get into decorating this bar cart. So this is the wall. Basically, my kitchen's over here. My living room area is over there. It's a very normal, actually I would say it's normal size. It's normal size if you're not in like New York City or San Francisco or LA. And it's the last wall that is fully blank. So I debated a few things. We could put another council table, console, council, console table here, but we already have one across from it. So that would just be like too much going on. And then we could do like a wall of frames, but also like we have frames over there, we have frames in there. So that's like another thing that was too much going on, which led me to the bar cart. And so I started kind of scheming it up in my head and then also thinking about like just how we're gonna decorate it to make it look really cute. That led me back to the frame thing. So like if you have a bar cart, I was like, okay, well what's gonna go above it? Which, like I said, we already have the frame, frame, like too many frames in a row. I just feel like it's gonna be too much. So I was like, it would be so cute if we had a huge mirror. And okay, I always mess this up. And this is gonna make me sound so dumb. It's not an oh, an arched mirror. <laughs> I always go to say it's an oval mirror. No, an arched mirror, just because I think arched mirrors are so beautiful right now. So have that right here, and then the more arched mirror would be on the ground, leaning up against this wall, and the bar cart would be in front of it. And the mirror does a lot of things. One, it's just really cute. It adds a little architectural element to it because of the arch, and the mirror instantly opens up the space and just makes it feel a lot bigger and fancier and just a lot cuter. So I went on a hunt for that full-size arch mirror and there were two places. Well, actually, if you search arch mirror on Google, it brings up a lot of places like Wayfair, Urban, Rejuvenation. There was an array of prices. I am looking for, I don't wanna spend an arm and a leg on a full-size mirror at this point in my life. I'm sure at some point. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will, but I needed it to be cheaper. And little did I know how freaking expensive mirrors were. So there were a few criteria that I was looking for that I knew I wanted. One, it had to be really, really wide. And I actually should probably pull up the exact dimensions of this one because the issue that I was finding when I went to Wayfair or Amazon or like a random place like that, the mirror in the picture looked really, really good, but when you went to the dimensions, it was like nothing. Like it was like two feet where I needed it to be wide enough because I wanted there to be space on both sides of the mirror and then the bar cart, you know? So like mirror, bar cart inside of it. So I found two that I loved. One at Rejuvenation, one at Urban. The one at Rejuvenation, was over a thousand dollars, which I knew was a no-go. And then the one at Urban was, let me look at the price, $4.99. So still expensive, but versus the one at Rejuvenation, that's like so much better. And the size of it, so the exact one I got was the Tabitha Arc Mirror. The size of it was the extra large floor mirror. And Okay, the dimensions are 47 inches wide and 72 inches tall. But that's where I ended up finding the best deal. We got it set up in the apartment and I'm telling you, it opened up the space so much. I love the reflection that when you're in the kitchen, you can see the cute part of my living room, the wall, you can see the entryway in my apartment now. It just is 
is everything that I wanted. The next step was finding an actual bar cart. And what I was looking for is one, I wanted to be black. Two, I hated the things coming off of it, like the wine tray or like, you know, like the wine bottle holders and a lot of them. Um, some of them had like weird arms, like shelf thingies, which I actually ended up buying one that had like a arm, but it was like more normal. So I found six that I liked. The issue with the ones that I loved was that they cost almost $600. Well, one of them was $600 and the other one was $4.99. Those were from Crate and Barrel. I seriously almost debated buying them and then realized that was like the most, that would be really stupid purchase. But what I did to kind of finalize my decision is, and this is one of my favorite things that I do like when designing a space and I just think it's so much fun, is I go into Canva, I start a spreadsheet, not a spreadsheet, like a image thing and then i bring in the bar carts into it or like if you're doing a living room like you bring the couch into it and i get rid of the background by going to remove.bg sarah found this it's the best site ever it's free and it's so fast and like really really good so i bring that in to canva so i had my arch mirror and then I would layer in the bar card on top of it and I would style it. So that would give me an idea of what it would look like. These are the bar cards that I debated choosing from. Like I said, they really ranged in prices. The most expensive was $5.99 and then it went down to $97, which I'll link all of these. I'm gonna write like a whole entire blog post linking all of these in case you want one of them on my website and the link will be in the down bar. I made the very, very mature decision. <laughs> Actually, it's not even that mature, it's just whatever. But I made the decision to go with the $97 one. Okay, I'm making this $97 bar cart look a whole lot more than $97 with some gold rub and buff, which if you watch my videos or follow me on Instagram, gee. <laughs> I'm doing the easy part. Sarah's actually setting up a bar cart over there. But um, I swear by Gold Rub and Buff, I use it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> um, I use it all the time. I get it at Michael's and a little bit goes a long way. Like this little tube will last me months. I don't know if I said this already, but the gold leaf color is my favorite and it dries insanely fast. So like Sarah's setting this up right now and I'm hoping by the time she's done i can do like two coats of this and i'll be dry that would be amazing all right this is the vision it's so cute yeah it's so cute yeah okay so we're gonna have this is the frame up here then we're gonna have another frame this one. Oh, you already yeah it's already done this is from goodwill like two dollars and i just use the same gold rub and buff and then this is gonna go down here, leaning like that. Does that look good? Yeah. I think I wanna do the pinkies up one. Next, I'm thinking about, we'll just stick with the top one. So, two books and then like an accessory set. I found, I like searched Amazon high and low for the cutest cocktail books. Surprisingly, I mean, there's cute ones, but I thought there would be cuter ones, but I found two of them. We have, the cocktail codex, and I'm just here for the drinks, which I actually think that's kind of funny. So I'm gonna layer these, like this one, like that, and then like that. And then from Target, I got this little accessories, or like bar accessories kit, which I think is really, just adds a little something. It does cover it, but not in an obnoxious way, I don't think, because of like, you can see through it. And that's so big. I have a wine cooler from Crate and Barrel that just hasn't arrived yet. It looks like this, it's so cute. So that's eventually gonna go right here when it comes, but for a little time sake for this video, I'm gonna put this together. So this is always gonna go, it's gonna be the wine cooler and then this in front of it. This is a $1.99 find from Goodwill, which is like the best find ever. I love it. I think it's so cute. 
And then this candle was on the nightstand. It's getting moved here, but just for the time being, because like, you know, I'm envisioning that with the wine cooler. Yeah, that'll, that'll be, be so perfect. cute. Yeah. But for the sake of this, this candle is from the brand Aesthetic. It's this small business. She reached out to me, sent it to me, the candle smells so good, and it's like really, really cute. So I think for the top, that, that's it. I gotta stand back in. I need to fix this. All right, the bottom shelf. So these, obviously like on a bar cart, you would think that you would have alcohol, which I didn't even think about how I should probably load this up with something. So maybe I'll do that in a second. Clearly I'm on the decor and not the actual alcohol. I will want to drink after this though. <laughs> but anyways, okay, wine glasses. So these square wine glasses, I just think are so chic. I see them like Instagrammers will use them and they're just cute. I eyed them for a really long time. They're stupid expensive. So I found the cheapest ones that I could find on Amazon. It was like a pack of six for $36 which is still expensive, but the other ones I was looking at were two for 50. So that's even, that's that's crazy. And if you're buying that, good for you. <laughs> that means that you can probably afford it. Um, all right, so I have six of those. I'm gonna put those in a row. And then I have a plan for this side of things. glass but it's from West Elm and it's plastic which maybe is for the better people are constantly grabbing ice out of it I'm going to put this back here like that that frame looks so good like that then I have this all right so this is in the toothbrush section at Target. It was $12 and my sister actually found it and thought it would be cute if you put like these gold stirring spoons in it and then gold straws. What I think I'm going to do, I also got these from Amazon. So these are from Target and they were like $3 each. This is the only gold like sticks that I have for martinis that you put cherries on it or olives um, that I could find that were gold on Amazon. Moral of that all, these are really hard to find in a gold color. Um, so what I'm thinking is these, I thought originally were gonna go in here, but they don't, they're like just a little bit too small. So I think I'm gonna stick these. Is it weird, like if I have the spoon sticking up like that? I don't think so. No, I don't think it's weird either, okay. All right, last we have, this is actually from my grocery store, but um, Amazon, I saw a ton of these on there. So, I mean, if I'm like entertaining, I could put cherries in here. You could mold something in here if you really wanted to. Um, but I just have those like uh, martini stick things. What are these called? Mm -hmm. Toothpicks, like they're fancy toothpicks essentially. And I'm just gonna stick them in there like that. And then put that in front of it. Okay, I'm not digging this. We decided, or I decided, that the bottom actually looks the best like that. So we're leaving it like that. I think it, I really, I love how it turned out. I think it looks classy. It looks more expensive than it was. This mirror completely opens up the space. It is gonna be a BITCH for dust, but it's fine. It'll encourage me to clean. And I hope that it gave you a lot of inspiration for your own bar cart in your home or your apartment or wherever you would be putting together a bar cart. Like I said, on the blog, which is gonna be linked in the description, we'll have all of the prints for that you can print out for your own bar cart or for your apartment, home, whatever. You already heard me say that. And then, every, links for everything too. So I hope you liked that video for more decorating, cleaning, organization things. Follow me on Instagram at Lee. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. 
We are getting into really exciting stuff, people. Seriously, we're buying this house. We are putting way too much money into it, probably. No, just kidding. We're putting a proper amount of money into it to sell it for a profit, hopefully, but it's gonna look so good. We're taking you along filming the entire thing. We're having a production crew film it, uh, the entire process, how we're decorating it, how we're picking out flooring, tile, everything, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So make sure to subscribe to stay a part of that and see all of that's happening with that. And I will see you on the next video.